Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy V. Last episode, we travelled through the ship graveyard, beat the boss in there, the siren, and now we're on our way to the next town, Carwin. So, uh, I was mistaken before, I thought we were heading to Warris, but apparently we're not able to get there yet, because Carwin is in our way. No, we're not ghosts. Don't worry about that. Yes, I would like to sleep. If I were a ghost, I wouldn't need the bloody inn, would I? Alright, so, we'll just uh, go to bed here. Sweet dreams, everyone. Just pop out of me there. <laughs> ah, that feels better. We're ready to fight another day. So, we'll just check upstairs in case anything's uh, sitting around in a box or something. A barrel, as it might be. And because Faris is running around as a... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything up here, does it? Uh, because Faris is running around as a thief, we'll be able to see hidden packages... Pack, I, oh, oh, I almost said packages again. Hidden passages we will be able to see with Faris. So, uh, we can also sprint, uh, which is another one of her thief abilities. So, this will uh, help cut down on episode time. Here's the uh, item shop. Unfortunately, no free items in the barrels. Uh, but we can buy all of these items here, so if we were in dire need of any of that, we would be able to use uh, the shop here, and we can also sell some stuff, but there's nothing I really want to sell right now, but we will sort the inventory out, there we go. So next stop is probably the armor and the weapon shops, which should be up here somewhere, talk to this guy, the he- oh, it's hard to say that word, Helio. Uh and what's this guy want? Oh, I've got to catch you, do I? There we go. The purple flowers on the North Mountain are poisonous. So we need to make a mental note of that. Not to go walking through any of the purple flowers. You hear me? You lot? So we can buy the Regal Cut here, which is a better sword than the one we're currently carrying. Uh, in a <laughs> As is uh, represented by Barts and Leonard jumping up and down. So we'll just equip them with that. And they'll be doing more damage now. And as for the armor shop, should be over the other side here. Nothing in the barrels, as per usual. We can buy bronze and copper uh, outfits. So we'll just uh, do that. Hopefully we don't run out of gill. But if we do, uh, we can just run around the town outside until we have enough money to pay for what we need. And we'll just equip everyone with that. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, bronze or, yeah, bronze is better. So we'll equip him with that, we'll give Lena the bronze hat. We already have the bronze armor that we won from the boss, so I've equipped her with that. That saved us about 250 kill. And the shield there, which I forgot on Bart. We can also give Galif the cotton robe. Because he's a mage, he's not able to wear armor. He can only wear clothes, so, and robes. So we're giving those. And Faris being a thief can't use a shield. So we'll give her the copper pelt. And move on to the magic shop. Which is around the other way here. Hopefully we have enough gill left to buy the level 2 magic that they have inside. So we've got sleep. Mute and armor. So mute is actually silence. Uh, it's called mute in this game. I'm not sure why. And armor is actually protect. So they have different names in this game. I'm not sure if it's because of the uh, the different translators or what have you, but uh, they are standard spells in the game. But here's a piano. Oh yeah, you're getting a little bit of barts. It's not as uh, ear bleedingly bad as it was last time. Uh, we can see the whole world map by pressing the Y button. Uh, that's the X button. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, poisonous plants, we got it. The Y button doesn't do anything. But knights can hold things in both hands. So let's have a look at that. I'm not sure that we can do that. Try removing the shield. And it does the same amount of attack power, so I don't know. Maybe that's... Uh, and we can't dual wield, so maybe that's an ability we have to learn with the knight. We're not quite up to that yet. Maybe. So we will just uh, keep note of what he said for now. 
Yeah, we talked to you already, didn't we? Poisonous plants, we get it. And those, uh, yes, some meteor fell near tycoons, very interesting, but here we have secret passages, so you can see uh, what that skill does. Oh, 1,000 gil, that's pretty handy. You can see what that skill does for Faris, is it lets us see through walls. And being able to see through hidden passages, I reckon we should be able to see through uh, Lena's underpants as well, but uh, don't mind me. Now, uh, let's leave the tavern. I think we've gone everywhere we can. Oh, there's this place upstairs, but there doesn't seem to be anything in it. For now. Nope, nothing in the bookshelves. So, uh, there was a bit of a, like, a port or something outside. Let's go check that out before we move on. Ah, so that's where Warris is. It's across the sea from Carwin. And we can't get there by boat. And Sildra's dead. Sorry, Faris. Jeez, that was heart heartless of you there, Gallif. God damn it. You better be sorry. Jesus, just talking about dead Sildra like that. Yeah, so we can't go by sea, which means... Oh, I'm sure you figured it out. Bart's is a bit, <laughs> a bit of the dumb kind of type. He takes a while to figure out what we need to do. But hey, an antidote in a barrel, that's handy. Especially if there's going to be poisonous plants up on the mountain. Which, if you remember last episode, we uh, went to the Heliu Mountain, didn't we? Yes, Bart's, you figured it out already, Jesus. Is that going to be your reaction to everything? I'm sure you'll have worked it out by now. And here we go. We have an ice rod just hidden in a box down here. This is a little cute little secret, I guess. And the last guy in the town will no doubt trigger Bart's to say we must go by. Yes, air, if you didn't figure it out. So if you put two and two together in this town, we need to go back up to the mountain that we saw last episode because we know there's a Helio up there, which is a dragon. And if we press the Y button, we can see the map there. I accidentally pressed out of it, so let's go in again. And you can see the world map of Final Fantasy V. How good is that? It is a bit weird looking. Because you get the boat so early in this game, they had to design the map so that you could, uh, so that you couldn't escape and go to places before you needed to. But the mountain is up here, so there it is. We're just uh, fighting all sorts of goddamn random encounters up here. But we'll uh, drop a save before entering the mountain, just in case something goes wrong. Which it shouldn't, because of course we're the four warriors of light. We're the uh, chosen ones. We are not going to just surrender or be killed by any sort of uh, stupid beast that may be wandering about the caves here in the mountain. And this is the most triumphant musical score you've ever heard. But enough of that, we have Gala Cats. They appear to be black cats on uh, some kind of hang gliders, which is uh, pretty ridiculous. I mean, if you think about it, but don't think about it, or else you will just constantly be wondering what the hell they were thinking when they designed some of these monsters. And the Gala Cats carry potions. So there we go. Is that our first successful steal or our second one? I don't even remember. So punching the shit out of cats is something I've always wanted to do. And now I have an avenue to be able to do it. Thank God. And we got that potion, so I reckon we'll just use it. Since it's basically a free heal, we'll use it on Gallif. So you can use this area to farm potions if you want, but they're pretty cheap. I mean, you're probably better off farming Gil and then buying 99 potions at the shop. It's not such a big deal. And what else do we have? Blocks and Rock Garter. So the uh, blocks have the most creative name you've ever heard in your life, I'm sure. And the uh, Rock Garters are basically just uh, blue slugs. Which don't really pose much of a threat at all, do they? Now, because the blocks are behind the rock garter, we're do uh, dealing less damage uh, because they're essentially in the back row. So what we want to do is steal this potion, kill the slug, 
and then we'll be able to do our normal amount of damage against the blocks. There you go, 75 is much better than what we were doing before. And we learn Black Level 1 with, um, with Gallop. So we'll use one of these potions that we got again, because we don't want to use all our magic points too early. And I reckon we'll just level up Gallop to Black Level 2, and then we'll switch to another job. So, it's at the start of the game, when you're only getting like one ability point per battle, uh, it's probably a better idea that you sort of get all the level 1 skills before the uh, the ability points that you need starts becoming too out of reach, like, because level 4 abilities and whatnot will probably need about 70 to 120 ability points to level up, so it's not really worth your time to try and get those early, so you're better off just getting more skills with the other jobs. Uh, that's just how I like to play it. Uh, I like to fill out all of the ability uh, menus so you can use more things in battle. It's just what I like in this game. So we'll use Lena to cure everyone. And she has a fair amount of magic points at this stage in the game. 62 is doing alright. So we can get a fair amount of heals out. And we find a soft in a chest. Soft is a curiously named item, but what it does is it cures petrification. So, that is a good sign that some of the enemies in here do cause petrification, so we need to keep an eye out for that. Because at this stage we don't have Essena, which is like your uh, heal status spell, so we're going to need items like Antidotes and Soft if we're going to get out of battles alive. And in this game, it's different from uh, later games in the series, but uh, for this game, all status effects are persistent uh, throughout, uh, outside of battle as well. So if we get poisoned or blinded or something during a battle, we will carry that out of the battle as well. But Lena has learned escape. Let's go have a look at what that does. Run away quickly from most monsters, so you can escape in this game, you can flee if you hold down the left and right uh, shoulder buttons at the same time, but escape will just let us get out of battle for free without having to do that because it is very hard to escape from a battle uh, using the default way because you just don't seem to be able to get out very easily. And we found some glasses here. What we can do is we can equip uh, Lena with the glasses. And we'll do some defense and magic defense as well, which is good. Uh, equip weight is a stat that I haven't spoken about in this game. Your ATB speed, that is the rate at which you get a turn, uh, is determined by your agility, which is affected by your base stat and the job that you currently are. And look at these, these are the purple plants that we heard about in Carwin. So if we walk through these plants, we will become poisoned. So we need to avoid them. Basically like some sort of a poisonous plant maze. So we just want to not touch those and we'll be all right. So yeah, uh, ATB rate is determined by agility, uh, job, and also by your equip weight. So the more you've got equipped, the slower your ATB will charge, so that is just something that was introduced in this game and I don't think it's in any of the other games, but what do we have here? Father's helmet? What would that be doing all the way up here on this mountain? The oh, Lena! Jesus! No! Who the hell are you then, M M Magissa? You're after the Helio horn, huh? Well, I'm not gonna let you get it. Your husband? Who would that be? Well, no matter. Jesus, Farris, what do you think you're doing? No, not you as well. Holy shit, Ferris is hardcore! <laughs> Damn right. 
and we just happen to have pegs and a rope that we can climb across. Crap indeed, Magissa, you are going down. Doesn't have anything, alright, it's time to go for an all-out assault. But, first we want to cure everyone, and we need to heal that nasty poison that Lena has there, so we'll just reach into our pockets for an antidote. Chuck it on Lena's face. There you go. And you are feeling alright again. Drain does a lot of damage, Jesus Christ. And that also heals Magissa as well, so we want to stop that from happening. Uh, but we can't, so what we're going to do is cure Lena and hope that we don't die in one hit from that. Hitting, hitting Galif with Bolt is okay with me because he has a high magic stat being a mage, so... Uh, magic defense stat, I should say. So that is probably the best outcome for that. And she's dead already! What a wimp! There we go, so that was uh, a strange battle out of nowhere, but she was dealt with without a problem in the world. You're a brave soul, Lena. A brave and noble soul, sacrificing yourself. But anyway, the heal you has healing powers. There we go, that wasn't such a big deal, was it? Stop your whining. Everyone, let's go! <laughs> Don't you just love Deus Ex Machina? Oh, but... Now's not the time. Oh, laughing at him's a bit rough. Come on, the four of us are going to jump on this dragon. Go on. And how cool is this? We've now got our own dragon that we can fly around. Unfortunately, he can't go over mountains, but what he can do is go really goddamn fast, avoid all random encounters, and fly across oceans. So, we can use uh, Helu now to go to Warris. So there's a tower there that we don't want to mess with right now. Let's see what else we've got in this area. Um, got a river, some forests, I don't see anywhere really of note. Ah, here we are. This looks like the Kingdom of Loris. So we'll land here. And we'll go inside the town. How about that? Here we are at Loris. Let's uh, do our regular talking to everyone. North is Loris Tower. Yeah, that's where we saw that on our way here, didn't we? And the power of the water crystal, so this is definitely where we want to be. <clears throat> we are here to protect the water crystal, of course, after it lent us its power in helping us to fight the evil within. And uh, uh, anyway, that was a good game. And let's just go to bed again. And as you move through the map, all the towns in the game will increase their in prices. So this one costs 20 gil, but it's still not a big deal. One battle will recoup the losses of a night at the inn and then some. So it's not a problem in the world uh, to deal with. But unfortunately, yes, it did shatter, unfortunately, mate. Don't uh, fret though, because we're on the case. So even though we just bought a whole new set of armor in Carwin, we have more armor here, the iron, iron set. So we're just going to have to buy all these again. So. We are probably going to run out of guild, but 
Thankfully, there is no magic shop in this area, so we just need to re-equip uh, with new armor and it... Oh, a mithril hat. When did we pick that up? I don't remember that. Oh, well. Uh, so, we'll just do the rest of the equipping here. Uh, iron is better and Galif can carry... Oh, Faris, actually. I don't think Galif can equip anything new. Training... Increases strength as well, so that's handy. Uh, not Faris, Galif. Yeah, so he doesn't have anything we can equip, so don't worry about that. Now we'll go to the weapon shop. An axe, and the same swords and daggers that we saw before. So we don't want to carry an axe just yet, we don't really have any need for it. So we'll just hold on to the gill. And we can run down here with the frogs. Ribbit ribbit indeed. <laughs> How you doing mate? You little froggy bastard. And how do you get to your house every day, mate? You need to wade through the goddamn water to get here, don't you? It's really unsanitary, isn't it? But we can equip uh, glasses on Gallif that we found in a barrel. Hope you don't mind, son. We just stole your glasses. Out of the way, frog. So what else do we have up here? Any secrets to find? No, none at all, it seems. We can't run through the waterfalls, which you'd think would be a pretty uh, good secret, wouldn't you? The frogs have it easy. Yeah, you're telling me, mate, we got to save the world from the goddamn evil, and you frogs just get to chill all day. What's up with that? It's not very fair, is it? But I think we're done here for now, so next episode, we'll explore this castle. So until then, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.